hate. Kurt the YZ, smash like, subscribe, leave a comment, I'll read it. I mean it, go share if you care, just putting it out there. Welcome to the show where I talk about movies and do music and mo. Let's get to it. Hello everybody, it's Curtis YZ. I have a lot of stuff I want to tell. This video is about Ivan Ortega's The Last Jedi re-edit. We're reviewing it, okay? It's amazing. Who knew there was a good film hiding underneath that trash? If I were to say one statement, that's what it would be. But I'm not. I'm going to tell you everything that's amazing about it. There's a lot that I love about it. Um, I forget if we made a name for the re-edit. The first sequence when the whole the X-Wings and, and the bombers it all had emotional impact. I actually felt like I was watching real rebels dying and I felt bad for them. The bombers didn't look stupid. It looked like it was meant to be. It looked like Poe had a plan and that he strategically took out all those guns so those slow things that that's all they had were able to go up there and it was so heroic and epic. Paige, the way he edited her thing was actually quicker and not so suspense driven because we all knew it was going to happen. You Stop trying to trick us. We know it's going to happen. It made it perfect and it was all emotionally. I cried like three times watching like just three times just I felt so bad and it felt like there was real stakes involved. I was I was so impressed. I'm like dang this is this is a Star Wars movie. I, I was it felt like I was watching a, an original trilogy, Star Wars, with prequel CGI, with prequel action, but with original trilogy tension and and drama. <laughs> you take out, and it's so funny because I never knew how much those little, those lighthearted humor moments, how much they actually do drag the story down. I never... I, I couldn't see that. I would I was always hearing that when I was looking up reviews. That drags it down, and I couldn't understand that. I was like, how could that be? Like, I, it doesn't take me out of it. It's what I thought. It did. That's why I left the theater empty and confused, because I've never not liked the Star Wars. The formula is, it's, it's 100% for me to like it. How come I didn't like this? I didn't know. That's why I looked up reviews. I'm like, I don't not like it, but I don't like it. Like, I'm not enjoying myself when I watch this. So the whole first sequence is incredible. I'm bawling. It's over, and the tension in the dialogue and everything is a lot better. It, for Finn, it works. Everything that he does in this works. What I'm really praising is how well it works. It never drags the movie down. You know that there's a reason why he put that in there, and there's a reason why he's showing us this and it's to be able to continue the story in a normal fashion i definitely will watch this every single time 100 percent every single time over the last jedi i will never watch the last jedi again i will always watch this version that's just how it is. So then the next sequence is Canto Bite. It was really quick, straight to the point. I actually liked Rose Tico in this. I, there was a couple times I mocked her character, but besides that, I actually liked her. And the, the way that he edits everything is so funny to, to, to be able to see like where he changed it and what happens and how he plays it off. And it all works and it's all great. And uh, it's just funny, you know, because there's so much that people had a problem with and he takes all of them away basically. The one that I was actually okay with him leaving was Luke's death because in this case, I actually had the emotional impact behind it. I would have been okay with him leaving it in there because I actually cared for Luke in this one. <laughs> so I, I cared for Rey. I mean, everything, when she lifts the rocks, it actually feels impactful. Everything feels like it's a story-driven, emotionally driven, and it feels uplifting. Okay, this is the weirdest part. He cut, like, 30 minutes out. The movie feels longer, but it also feels more enjoyable. Like, I, I felt like I actually watched a longer, more coherent movie. When you watch the original Last Jedi, Last Jedi, it feels like this long, 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 long train is going by, but it was only 10 minutes, but it felt like an hour that you had to wait in your car 
while this train goes by for 10 minutes, it felt like an hour for you. That's what The Last Jedi feels like. This feels like a two hour movie that's freaking amazing. <laughs> so that's what I mean by it actually feels longer, but it feels like a real movie and it feels like a good movie. It, it felt like Star Wars. So I'm like, whoa, this is a two hour Star Wars. That's freaking incredible. The coloring that I had an issue with before that I felt like it was bland, like put there on purpose, just like, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Here it is. It's a beautiful place. Now it actually felt like Star Wars. Like here we're on this crazy world. Look at it. It's all, it's a, it's a salt planet. You know, it all looked right now. Like I said, I didn't criticize The Last Jedi hard when I left the theater. I just wasn't, I didn't know what the heck was going on. Why didn't I like it? I never not liked the Star Wars. And that's when I look into all the reviews. And they say, oh, it gets better on the second time. I was like, oh, okay. Try it. I'm like, yeah, maybe a little better. It wasn't, though. That's when I, I was trying to convince myself. I realized that. There was a couple good reviews that made it bearable, but... To be honest, I can't even remember what they said that made me feel like, oh, that, that kind of makes sense. That's the problem. This, this all feels right. This feels like the story, and he really doesn't tamper with the story. It all makes sense. It's the story of The Last Jedi, but it feels like how it should have been made. Like, it, it actually feels like a good movie to watch. It's, it's crazy how all those things that you had an issue with are just not an issue anymore. Everything is new. It, it was watching a brand new movie. Uh, the, the fights... The fights in the throne room. I never liked the throne room. It always looked just blaringly red. This time it was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I liked everything. The edits they did. He took away the problems. And it actually felt like a really cool scene. I was really happy with it. It was, it was even longer, I believe. I, it felt like a longer fight. Thank you, Ivan. I liked both the fights. Everything was way better. Thank you, Ivan. I can't thank you enough. Uh, go to Ivan Ortega YouTube channel. Subscribe to Ivan. He's an amazing Star Wars figure. He's, he's, okay, here's George Lucas. Here's, here's Ryan Johnson. Oh, here's Ryan, oh shit. I can't, my face can't even be in the camera right now. Okay, so now you can't see, you can't even see George Lucas. Okay. Here's Ivan. Yeah, Ivan's right here. Okay, here's Ryan. You can't see it. But he's he's way he's so far down here. Like I I actually ha I have to just point. There's Ryan. Um. <laughs> Thank you again. I I'm, I'm beyond what I've said. I'm speechless. It's incredible. Thank you. As I understand it, you're gonna throw in an extra fight. I just gotta thank Ivan Ortega so much for creating this edit. And I know he took a lot of criticism. And I honestly, I think that was, this is my conspiracy theory mind, but to be honest, a lot of the people that I ended up talking to, it felt like they were some sort of Disney shill that were trying to convince people that the edit wasn't happening. Okay, that's what it felt like when I was talking to some of these haters that were saying that Ivan's just stealing our money. He's been going on vacations. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so thank you so much, Ivan. I knew that you were gonna pull through. I, I, you've shown us so much that you've already done, and clearly, if you believe in yourself, you can do anything. Yeah! Z, smash like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll read it. I mean it. Go share if you can. Just put.